as a reminder, just wait for the microphones, okay? Open it up for questions for Max. Steve, in the front. Max, why do you think you struggled like that tonight? Um, I felt like my I didn't my fastball was running on me. I, I didn't have a good fastball location every time. I, you know, for me, you know, working glove side uh, with my fastballs, usually I can I, when I execute that, you know, it stays on plane on the glove side part of the plate, and then usually has ride. Uh, and so I, I keep on the you know on the glove side. Uh, you know, from watching the film and just watching how they were able to take swings. Uh, my fastball was running on me. I, I wasn't able to command that fastball the way I usually can, and uh, that's my bread and butter to be able to set up everything else. And um, when my fastball's flat and then running, uh, that's usually when I get I get hit a lot. And you know, obviously tonight you know, I got hit a lot. Um, don't know why that is. You know, I thought I made the right adjustment to come in tonight. Um, usually, when I'm in the right position, usually the fastball has ride. Uh, tonight it didn't. Max, as someone who you know has talked about relishing these types of moments and, and having success in these types of, of games, just what is your level of disappointment right now with with how tonight went? Yeah, of course I'm disappointed, but yeah, I don't know. I mean, yeah, the baseball can take you to the highest of highs and the lowest of lows, and this is one of the lowest of lows. Down here on the right, you mentioned not knowing why. The fastball was flat, et cetera. How unusual is that for you to, you know, two starts in a row now, not really be able to put your finger on what's going on? Well, I thought I made the right, uh, I, I had a feel for what was going on in the Atlanta start. thought I made the adjustment to get me right. Um, and that's why I can't, you know, tonight, I don't know why the fastball ran. I don't know why I didn't have, you know, my good fastball, the way it can usually pitch and, and locate. Um, there were several, I mean, there's just several fastballs I looked, watched tonight where the fastball almost looked like it, it was sinking uh, versus having ride. So, yeah, that's going to be a late night for me. What would your advice to the group be going into an elimination game tomorrow? Just win. Come to the park. Um, you know, they've done it the whole year. Turn the page, move on, compete the next time. Um, you know, we got Jay going tomorrow, so I'll be good. Anthony, the left. Max, I know you've been insistent that uh, you know there's been nothing physical. The oblique is fine. Was there anything at all physical that affected you in this start? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, yeah, I felt good. Did I hear the front? Oh, we're gonna, all right, we're going to hand it in the back. Max, you said this is one of the lowest of lows. Assuming you get a chance to pitch again in this postseason, do you think you'll be able to put this out of your head, or well, how will that affect you going forward? Oh, of course, I can I can make adjustments, come back and attack. I, I know what I need to know. What I need to do to be successful. I, um, you know, if I get another shot to pitch, yeah, I know I know what I need to do. Barry, hey Max, uh, how much do you think the the time you missed and the intermittent injuries had an effect on you, you know, that gets you to this point? I don't know. Um, you know, came back um, from the last one in Milwaukee start. You know, I was locked in, executing pitches. Um, you know, went to the Oakland start, was executing pitches, and then the wheels fell off. I don't know why. Anything else for Max? Thanks, Max. What's up? Okay, Steve. Hmm? He's going to start us off. Buck, Max talked about his fastball just not, not being there today and felt like he didn't have the normal ride on it. At times it was almost sinking. When did it look to you like he was off with that pitch? Well, you know, he's got such good command of all his pitches. Uh, he was having trouble getting the ball away from his, his gloves. So, you know, he's trying to throw the ball in, for instance, to Bell, and he can't get it there. He had a lot of pitches that were leaking on him, but, you know, with Max, you keep. That's happened before, early in the outing. He's he's made the adjustments, and tonight he wasn't able to. But uh, you know we didn't score any runs, regardless of what. You know, obviously, the expectations for Max are always high because of his track record. But you know, we just didn't score any runs. Uh, Dar we knew Darvish was going to be a challenge, and he was. How much does a stunning night like that from a guy who's pitched and? You know, such huge games throughout the course of his career. How much of an effect does that have on the group itself? No, I don't. You know, sheer word stunning. You know, we know how hard it's not. You know, we know how hard it is to do what Max 
does and how much we appreciate it and how good other pitchers are. That's why you're playing this time of year. So we've had that, you know, it's happened some. We've had, and guys have fought their way through it. Just tells you how good Darvish is. Cause our guys obviously had a lot of want to. And, uh, you know, we had man on third and one out twice, a chance to hit back early and, and gain some, uh, you know, momentum getting back into it. Usually we answer there and we had a chance to, but Darvish wouldn't let us. Stay the first row there with the left. You kind of mentioned it right there, Buck, but what do you think allowed Darvish to settle in there? Because you did have that opportunity to get to him early. Uh, just he, He's got two breaking balls. He really throws he has so many pitches and he commands them. But the uh, uh, I think he threw, and I know there were a number of times <coughs> behind the count, there are no hitter counts with him as far as, you know, everything's a, there's two shapes of breaking balls, really three with the cutter, the slider, and the curveball when he wants to. He made some pitches with that even to the left-hand hitters. But... You know, I, uh, obviously Max, you know, with the expectations that he has, you know, for himself and, and what he's done for us and throughout baseball, but, you know, Darvish is on top of his game. We knew that was going to be a challenge, but he, he's just got so many things you have to defend. I don't think, I think he ended up, did he walk anybody? I, I know he had one hit by a pitch, and, you know, that's the difference. And, uh, I mean, our bullpen pitched real well tonight out of there, but, we just couldn't figure out a way to get some runs, some offense going. That was the story for me, that the job that they did from a pitching department. And can, can you starter. Hmm? Sorry about that. Uh, can you also confirm that it's going to be Jacob tomorrow? Yeah, Jake will pitch tomorrow. Straight back there in the middle, wait for the mic. Read your hand. Got to get some more mics. Hey, Buck, just, just, you know, to that point, when uh, you made the decision to, uh, to pull Max, just take me through your thinking about bullpen order and, you know, was there any thought to maybe Peterson and length first or just sort of how you came about the order that you did uh, out of the rest of this one? Uh, we not, I'd really like to keep Pete real short so that he's available the next two days, something he hasn't done a whole lot of, and we were able to by picking the inning. And... Uh, Whatever order we did, they certainly pitched real well out of there. So I um, want to get Michael out there, too. And I thought that all those guys, I feel confident with them. Lugo's pitched real well against left-handed hitters through that rip we had there. Um, um, so, you know, May's a guy that can get ready quick and, and get in the game and didn't want to. We've actually been able to pitch him uh, last couple of times finish up an inning and, and go back out there. That wasn't something he was able to do earlier in the year. Barry? Hey, Buck. Uh, so Max said he was feeling fine, but he really didn't have an answer to how what kind of a cumulative effect the injuries, the side injuries has had on him and missing time for the uh, much of the year. Do you think that when you don't have an answer for why something is happening, that that could be part of the reason? Well, always. You know, nobody looks in the mirror harder than Max. He's always trying to figure it out. And uh, I'm hoping that we can play well and uh, give him a chance to get back out there. But, uh, you know, that's going to be up to, to us uh, starting tomorrow. And, uh, you know, he, he's a guy that doesn't chase excuses. And, you know, when you, he wouldn't even bring it up unless you ask him the question. I know you do, because and w it's normal because you got a guy that pitches, you know, most of the time so well. And uh, when it's not there for him against a good team, uh, those questions get asked. But, uh, you know, I'm sure it's something that uh, we'll look at at the right time. We always do. But, uh, you know, I'm like you. you. You see it and you go, what, what is there something going on there? But... You know, if you've been around Max as much as we have, he, he doesn't chase anything other than the mirror. And, uh, you know, we'll look at it, though. Obviously, when you see something that break from what, you, what your expectations are, you, you do look at things like that. Yeah, comparatively, it reminds me of what happened to him coming out of the NLDS last year into the championship series mm -hmm. where he struggled and then could never even get back into the, in, into the series. Mm -hmm. He, you know, he uh, you know, he doesn't live in. He learns some things and he he moves on. There was nothing. Well, 
he'll be in a dugout tomorrow pulling for Jake and, and our club and hoping he gets another chance to, to pitch for us. But um, it's just a, a competitive nature. You can, if you, you can imagine how he must, how, how frustrating it is for him. But his command is a thing that, that uh, is frustrating for him. That's, he's, he's got good stuff, but usually when he can command three pitches and sometimes four, it's, it's, it's fun to watch. But, you know, he had a pitch on Bell in the home run. He, he's trying to throw a ball a certain place and it leaked completely away from where he wanted to, and that, that's what was frustrating for him. Hilly? Buck, uh, do you sense any surprise from the team that to go from uh, leading the division for most of the season to all of a sudden now you're facing elimination probably sooner than a lot of guys expected? Is that a feeling that you sense or and something that you have to help them with? No, it's reality, and our guys have, have stayed in that the whole time. I mean, we ended up uh, same record with somebody else in our division, and we're getting an opportunity now. We'll get one tomorrow to to right the ship, and uh, I know our guys will come out and, and uh, present themselves well, and uh, you know, I've got a lot of confidence in them. Okay, last one, then we're going to get Jacob up here. So, Andy? Buck, Buck just to be clear, if you're going to get to where you want to go, if you're going to get to where you want to go, you're going to lean on Max pretty hard this month. I mean, do you have concern that he's physically compromised? Not necessarily. You know, I'm lean on. You know, we Max and you know Max and Jake have, have fought through some things to to get to this point, and uh, we've had other people pitch well, um, holding the fort down because we played 162 games, 163 now, and uh, Max and Jake will will be the first to tell you it takes a, a, a large group, but. Uh, no, as far as riding, well, I, no, we're, we're going to try to win tomorrow night's game and see where we are. And then we'll, like talking to Ronnie, just, we'll see where we are with Jake. And, and I'm sorry, excuse me, Max, and if there's an adjustment he may, we'll make it. I'm ho I hope not. You know, guys are human beings. Sometimes they have, we expect them to be, you know, sometimes uh, exactly what they've done in the past. It doesn't happen every time. The other team's good, too. This is hard to do, and uh, you know my money's on on Max and you know and on figuring it out and Jake and hopefully Bass if we can get there. Hey, thanks, Buck. Okay, thank y'all.